Yeah, Courtney, it's very early, but we are looking at a system that could possibly develop uh, around the Caribbean. So right now it's just an area of disturbed weather, and we're going to go over why we're highlighting this area because it is very early on in the game. But the earlier we know about this system, the better, right? Even if it doesn't steer into our direction. So tropical update here, we now have a 30% chance that is bumped up by 10%. Earlier it was a 20% chance of development over the next week. I did want to point out this system because a few of you had questions. Yes, that was Gordon, and yes, it could form into Gordon once again. It's trying to get organized, so basically it weakened past that uh, tropical status, but it is trying to organize. Either way, that system is not affecting us, and we're not worried about it. It's affecting no land at all whatsoever. Uh, but this system right here, so this is partially tied to the Central American gyre, and what this means is feeding off of Pacific water, uh, we kind of have this warm, moist air that's feeding into this system, and this, this does form. There's several gyre, gyres across the world, but this one is one closer to home, right? So this area disturbed weather forms, and it happens in spring and in fall, the time of year that we're currently placed in, right? Well, it occasionally can help fuel tropical systems, helping them spin up. So we're gonna keep a watch on this area because this is where tropical systems like to form this time of the year. And right now, the National Hurricane Center does have that area highlighted that I just show you with a 30% chance of formation. And although that's a low probability, it's enough for us to talk about, especially when it's that close to home. So we do wanna watch that area in the Western Caribbean as we move into this week. Now, this is just one of the models for next week. This is the GFS. I was showing you the Euro during tonight's evening shows. And this basically, the GFS wants to have it steer a little bit closer to home, while the Euro wants to take it more westward towards Texas. Again, too early to tell. We still have to wait for this system to form. But once it does, of course, we will keep you updated here in your 10 Tampa Bay Hurricane Center. So that's the latest that we have and we're sharing it with you. So anytime you have a question, we'll be happy to answer.